Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. In this video we're going to look at some of the essential shortcuts you need in terms of dealing with layers. Now with layers panel see down here, I'm working on a final um, image here and you can see the layers have been built up over time and there are hundreds of them now so it's not really practical to go through and try and remember the names of them all so to know which layer you're working on. So you need a trick. The best one and the one that I use constantly is that make sure you're in your move tool okay, and make sure that your move tool is set to layer. Now what will happen is you're going to learn a little shortcut. Okay, so we're on some random layer at the moment. I want to click this word that says more. Now I'm going to zoom a little bit. To select more, what I need to do is hold down the command key okay, on a Mac or the control key on my PC. And what you'll notice is that, can you see up in the top app bar, it changes this thing called auto select. It just kind of toggles it on while you need it. Okay, so if I hold down the command key and I click the word more, can you see in my layers panel it jumped to the more and I can move this around. Then say I want to move the green box as well. I'll hold down my command key and the little auto select toggle comes on. I click on this and even though it's got some random name called rectangle 2, I can still move it around. Okay, so I can click more, move him across, click the rectangle, move him across, hold down let's make awesome. And um, it's just a really easy way to pick the layers and move them around and really essential when you are working on such a layer heavy document. I'm going to go to edit, step backwards, edit, step backwards, edit, step backwards. Another useful shortcut is if you've got a really complex set of layers and they're all on top of each other and it's really hard to select the one you want, what you can do is let's pretend for a second that the see this image in the background here, I want to select say using this little area here but I can't because there is a black box in front of it. Okay, so if I use my command click trick, it's going to pick this rectangle every time. Okay, of course I could pick down here, but that ruins my example. What I can do is if I right click, okay, if I right click, and if you're on a Mac and you don't have a right click, you control click, but if you're on a PC it's easy to right click, and you'll notice that it picks everything in my little layer order here. So that's the one that I was, that's the black rectangle. Underneath it though is something called layer 2, and that is my little image. Another useful shortcut that you're going to need is if you're using say my template and you're using the column grids, okay, um, you need to be able to go to view, show guides. And these can be really great when you're lining things up but real pain when you're trying to look at things visually because it kind of ruins the look of everything with the lines everywhere. So the shortcut for this if you're on a Mac it's command and use the colon key on your keyboard. If you're on a PC it's com uh, control and colon. And you toggle these on and off. I do this quite a bit when I'm working with these grids. I want them on to line things up and then I turn it off again when I'm trying to look at things and see how they line up. Now I love to share so I made a few of these videos free. Of course though I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe and hide it our good YouTube people. Now I'm saluting and waving but you can't see that can you?